Hey, this is Charles Lewis. Hey, photographers, this is Todd Lewis, and we're coming to you from Grand Rapids, Michigan, here at Charles Lewis Photography with our Lewis Ice Kick in the Pants photography money making video for this week. I uh, hope you've been enjoying these videos as we bring them to you each week to help keep you energized and motivated, reaching your goals, giving you a marketing hot tip for the week to utilize in your photography business. And uh, we're certainly enjoying bringing them to you, right, Dad? We sure are. I hope we're helpful. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's get to the first section here. We always like to do kind of a motivating or energizing quote of the week. Dad, you specifically handpicked this one for our folks. I'm sure uh, anyone who's been studying with us for a while knows that you're a big fan of Napoleon Hill. So I'll kind of let you uh, read and introduce this quote for the week. Yeah, Napoleon Hill is one of my all-time favorite people. He wrote a lot of great things. Uh, the most popular, well-known book that he wrote was Think and Grow Rich, which is just terrific, but he's also written many other things that are extremely uh, helpful in becoming successful in a free enterprise system. And he says, people who achieve success do it by careful and attentive effort. Your use of language must reflect this quality just as astutely as any marketing plan. This is such an important thing. It's not just your marketing that causes you to be successful. It's part of the puzzle, but it's not the only thing. How you use your language, the words you use are so important. We must always be very aware of the language we use when we're communicating with those around us. Yeah, most photographers have no idea how important the words are that they use to refer to their craft. And this is really important. This directly reflects how you feel about your photography and its value. You see, if you don't use the right words when talking to potential clients, they'll get the wrong impression about how much you value your work. Yeah, this is such an important thing, and Napoleon Hill said it just right. You know, to achieve success, you must be very conscious of the language you use. And this also, I mean, we could talk all day on this video just about this one key point, because it's not only how you communicate with others, it's also how you communicate with yourself and the language you use. You know, if you're a very negative person to yourself, then you're going to have a lot of challenges in your photography business getting things done as well. But we do have to move on from that motivating quote, but that's a great one there. Oh, before we do that, Dad, you had some examples I think you wanted to give on how this applies directly to the photographic industry. Is that correct? Yeah, I was just reading uh, this morning in my PTS time, as a matter of fact, uh, some writings from another photographer who shall remain nameless, uh, and he used... Uh, the second example we're going to give you here, the bad examples. So let me give you like my six top favorite bad examples and good examples. The first is picture. Please don't ever use the word picture. Use photograph, use image, use something, but don't say picture, please. And then the second word is shoot. You're not shooting anybody or anything. You're not having a shoot this afternoon. You're creating. You're photographing. That's what we do for a living. That's what we're paid to do. And of course, customer. We don't have customers. We have clients. You are a professional. We have to refer to ourselves in a professional manner if we want to have people respect us and admire what we do and give us good money for what we do. And you don't have sittings. You have ducks sit. You have a session. You have a session. You have a photographic session with clients. And of course, don't ever use the word price. Use the word investment because that's what it is. When people invest in your photographs, <laughs> see, I say it automatically. <laughs> when people invest in your photographs, they're making an investment. I mean, that's what they're doing. And then don't say, yeah, I have a job this afternoon. You could say, I have an assignment or I have a client that I'm photographing this afternoon. But don't just say, yeah, I have a job. So there's, those are my six favorites, yeah. There are some examples of the correct words to use. Get into the habit of using those, absolutely. Next up is our motivational exercise of the week. Staying motivated is a, is a very, very important thing in any business. It's just as important for a photographer who's trying to balance a creative and artistic uh, endeavor in their lives with making a living from that creative endeavor. you got to stay <laughs> motivated in all these different areas of your life. And each week we're going to give you an exercise to help you keep doing that. This week, I want to talk to you about not being so serious. Why so serious? Uh, going back to... Uh, <laughs> the Dark Knight with uh, 
uh, Heath Ledger as the Joker. Um, don't be so <laughs> yeah. serious. Look at the challenges as a fun game uh, and, and play that game to win. It, it's very easy to feel a large weight on your shoulders when it comes to tasks that you don't really want to work on or the challenges that come up every day, right, Dad? Yeah, a way to help you deal with this pressure and, po and power through the difficult challenges is to look at it like a game and make it fun to accomplish. I mean, we went into photography because we love photography. We love it. We're passionate about it. So look at the whole process as a fun game. I mean, there's no better way to earn a living. Is there not a chance? This is a wonderful business to be in. So if you're wondering how to do that, very simply and quickly, this can be done through breaking the task, first of all, into some small, simple steps. Uh, then finding maybe a different and fun place to go while working on it. Get out of the environment that you're usually working in. I mean, with computers nowadays, you know, a lot of the stuff you're going to be doing potentially with your marketing or, or Photoshop or, you know, uh, going through images and so forth can be done on a laptop. You could take that potentially somewhere and do it somewhere else. Um, and then also giving yourself some simple little fun rewards to, uh, when you get these steps done, and then also involving other people in the game. But again, it's about looking at it as a game. Yeah, it's important that you don't let things get too heavy in your business. Pressure can get high, yes, but 80% of the time or more, it's not as bad as we make it out to be, and thinking of it as a game can diffuse that pressure and help us get through the day because one of my favorite sayings is creativity cannot exist in a tense environment so we have to keep ourselves motivated excited optimistic and remember why we're doing this we're doing this because we believe wholeheartedly in what we're doing and we love it it's time for a fast action marketing tip of the week one little thing we can give you that you can keep in, at the forefront of your brain as you're going through your photographic marketing and spreading the word about your photography business throughout your community this week we want you to focus on making sure that your marketing offers have honest and specific deadlines now, in addition to your marketing being emotionally driven, as we spoke about in our last Kick in the Pants video, it's also vital that you have compelling offers to get them to take action now. And a key to getting people to take action on your offers is to be sure they have a clear deadline. And what's a deadline? A deadline obviously is, you know, this, this offer is only good until or, you know, that sort of thing. It's got to have an actual deadline on it because without a deadline, and a good reason for that deadline, uh, people will simply not take action now. They will intend to maybe come back to it later, which they almost never do. And, and by good reason, I, I say that you know when you have a deadline, you need to also give them a reason why you have that deadline. Otherwise, it just comes across as a marketing ploy. People are pretty savvy. They you know they understand how this stuff works now. So when you're crafting your your uh, offers and your deadlines, make sure you have a good, compelling, honest reason for that deadline. And it may just be how many slots you have open for photographic sessions, or it may be, uh, you know, May is family portrait month. And uh, so you're doing this for the, for the rest of the month of May, that sort of thing. Deadlines can be time-based or, like Todd was just talking about, they can be number-based. But we have to have a reason, as Todd mentioned. Right, and time-based is obviously, you know, this expires in 14 days or this is until the end of this month. And number-based is we only have about seven slots still open uh, for the sessions that we're talking about in this special offer. And if you want to improve the effectiveness of any of your marketing, online or offline, make sure you have powerful deadlines for each and every one of your campaigns. Time for some words from other photographers. Uh, this is a wonderful message we got uh, from a photographer this past week. Uh, Kirk Grotsk, I think is how you pronounce it. If, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, Kirk, I apologize. Uh, but here's the message he sent us. Quote, in my opinion, the greatest benefit I have gotten from you over the years is a clear understanding of what being in business is about. Knowing how to create a product and a service that is worth something and then charging what it's worth. Developing the confidence in your product and how to handle the objections raised by interested clients and knowing when they are, in fact, not your client and letting them go with no hard feelings and creating no ill will between you. Uh, thank you, Kirk, for that. Dad, any comment you want to make about some of the things he brought up that he's discovered from us over the years? 
Yeah, thanks, Kirk. That's very kind of you. Uh, yeah, the thing I learned from the great Donald Jack, who I understudied with for two of two very valuable years of my life. It changed my whole life. Uh, he always said, uh, in order to be successful, you must be willing to send some people away. And Kirk is alluding to that, is we're, we're carefully selecting who it is we're going to work with, uh, because there's just not enough hours in the day to spend the time with your family and your loved ones and also run a very successful photography business if we take every single client. So we have to understand what we're in business for what we're all about, who we want to work with. We call that our target market. And uh, thank you, Kirk, for those kind words. You bet. That brings up the 80-20 law, which I wish we had time to talk about here. We don't. So I'm sure we'll bring it up in a future uh, kick in the pants video. But the 80-20 law applies to that, that 80% of your income tends to come from 20% of your clients. And so you want yep. to focus uh, in the right ways. But let's move on to our goals and planning. Uh, here, this is the time when you take a look at your goals and your progress and you plan out your upcoming week. So here we want you to pause the video. We want you to read your goals aloud to yourself there, uh, re review your progress and make notes on how you did over the past week on reaching those goals and then plan out your week here. So pause the video here until you're done. Please, please, please do this step. Take as long as it takes you to get it done properly and we'll be waiting here for you. Yeah, this is way more important than you may suspect, but after years and years and years of doing this, uh, we are living proof that this is a very crucial step. And, and it really isn't really a big thing in our culture. Our culture doesn't really talk a lot about doing this, and it's such an important part in building a successful business. All right, we're going to figure you paused the video, and now you're yep. back after having done that. Let's move on to our final thoughts for the week, some thoughts to take with you as you traverse the rest of the week in your photographic business and your life. Always keep asking yourself, what's the best use of my time right now? Uh, this is one of the best questions to ask whenever you might be feeling a little bit stalled or unfocused or particularly challenged in, in a specific area. However, remember when answering this question to keep your goals in mind, don't just respond by putting out fires or doing the things that feel like they immediately have to be done. You, you also have to keep your goals in mind because they'll give you the road map you need to get where you want to be. Use that map and drive yourself as fast as you can. Right on. So what we're talking about here is the keys or are the keys to building and maintaining a very successful photography business and that's what we're all about. To earn a great living doing what you love to do but not sacrifice your family and your loved ones. You cannot be creative 100 hours a week. So we want you to discover from us and from other people how you can best earn a great living doing what you and I love to do, which is photography. All right. We'll talk to you again in next week's Kick in the Pants, Lewis-sized money-making video. And have a great photographic week. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.